Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Emily. I'm a mom who loves home decor thrifting and a good DIY project. Today we're doing a bathroom makeover redecorate. Really it's more of just like a refresh, redecorate, and some of the things in the bathroom are Urban Outfitters inspired. So I think this is gonna be a really fun video. It's gonna be simple but there's a few little DIYs, so I'm really excited to share everything with you. Before we jump into things, if you guys aren't, you guys can subscribe. I'm really trying to hit that 100K mark this year. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, and you guys should follow me over on Instagram at emilyfaith22. I post a lot of like my family and just everyday life, home decor, everything that inspires me or just really fun pictures. Let's jump right on into things. The first thing I want to share with you is this mood board I put together. I like putting together mood boards for spaces that I'm kind of redecorating. They really help me get an idea of the pieces that are going in there, what I want to do with the space. Just give me inspiration. This is the mood board that I created. You will see I have some dried palm leaves. I have this Urban Outfitters shower curtain and I am planning on doing a little DIY with that. Then I saw this Urban Outfitters sort of jewelry caning holder and I realized I have something very similar. So I wanted to kind of like DIY mine to be a jewelry holder. Then some other fun pieces, a wood shelf that we're gonna DIY, amber glass soap bottle, candle. So yeah, but this is kind of the vibe that I am going for. Now, let me show you guys what our bathroom looked like before so you guys can see. It also really needs a good clean, so don't mind that. But let me just show you guys where we're at. know what the bathroom looks like there's nothing crazy wrong with it I just felt like it needed to be more intentionally decorated and thought out it was just kind of like random let me show you guys the first little DIY I did which is these caning circles that I got thrifting years ago if you guys follow me you've definitely seen these many times I am going to turn one of them into a necklace holder to kind of be the same idea as this Urban Outfitters one. Oh, I have these little rattan circles and I want to hang necklaces from it as well as earrings. So I'm taking some wood beads that I have and I'm going to just use some twine and basically string it through and like get them around the top to hang the necklaces from. I taped off the end of my twine put it through my wood bead, and then I'm just gonna eyeball it, and I think I'm gonna do four, or maybe five. One, two, one right at the top. Put one side through, going to loop another side. Here we go. And then I can just tie it at the back. This is what we've got so far. Next little simple update I want to do is to my shower curtain. So I have had this white shower curtain actually from Target. I got it when I first got married. There's nothing really wrong with it. It works perfectly. I want to save money. I don't, there was no need to just get a new one, but I thought doing a simple update would be really fun. So when I saw this Urban Outfitters one with these little tassel puff balls, what are they? <laughs> They've got to have a better name than puffballs. <laughs> when I saw that, I thought, oh my gosh, okay, I can't do the exact thing like theirs, but I thought mine had these three tiers and I wanted to add this little like puff <laughs> tassel puffball detail to it. <laughs> Let me share with you how I did that.
The next sort of thing that I did is we just wanted to DIY a shelf. We don't live near an Ikea, so I couldn't really pick up an Ikea shelf or anything. And honestly, we had some scrap wood. So let me share with you how we made a little simple shelf. I have this piece of wood. This was just a little scrap piece of wood that my husband cut for me to make this little shelf. And I just need to sand down these edges and he's going to cut me two little brackets for it as well. Got it all sanded. We just gotta get the little brackets cut and we can hang it up. have most of our DIYs done let's head to the bathroom and we're gonna kind of give it a clean and then we're gonna install some things let me show you some other things that I got and we'll go from there to decide how we want to hang our shelf. Do we do it low? Do we do it here? <laughs> Moving on, my husband finished up this shelf. We're just waiting to hang it for no one to be napping. So we're gonna get that hung up. But while I'm waiting on that, I wanted to show you guys the rug. I ended up finding this rug ordeal has been so huge. I actually ordered a rug online and it came and sometimes you learn the lessons the hard way. I didn't really measure and it was so much smaller than I expected. So I returned it because it was pretty expensive. I ended up finding this one in stores. Our stores just opened yesterday. So I decided to go to HomeSense and I found this one and it was $29, which is like significantly cheaper than the other one. And it is beautiful, it fits the space. I am so happy with it. Here is what it looks like. I'm also going to be using some dried palms. I don't think I'm gonna use all of these. And then this is like a DIY little caning hack that I did. I can link this video for you guys. So I might, I might decorate with some of these. I also have some dried palms that are like a green color. So yeah, and I got these from an Etsy shop, so I can link that below. The last little styling pieces that I picked up are of course a candle. I seriously wish you guys could smell this. Oh my gosh, it's, um, I, don't know. I got it from HomeSense, it's mango tangerine. Oh my gosh. <laughs> It smells so good. <laughs> okay, and I've, I've literally never had one of these, but I've always wanted to. It's just like a little <laughs> bathroom tray, which is kind of funny. I think I never really saw the purpose of them, but I think it just elevates the bathroom a tiny bit. So I got this little cute bathroom tray. It does have this little detail on the edges, so this will just add a nice touch to the counter. Are you guys ready for some final touches?
hope you guys remember what the bathroom looked like before. Here it is now. pleased with how the simple bathroom redecorate kind of turned out some small changes nothing huge but I think it really made a big difference and it feels way more cohesive with my whole home now if you guys do want to see a tour of my whole home I do have that I can link that video down below if you like today's video feel free to give it a thumbs up as always you guys can subscribe for more of my everyday life follow me on Instagram at emilyfaith22 I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you next time bye